How about automatic balancing valves? How about these circuit sentries or auto flows we deal with? How about this? How about the flow limiters? What's a good way to do that? Now, the whole concept of a flow limiter is we have a spring loader device that we can flow water through and it will change the orifice size based on the differential pressure going through it. Now, as we change the orifice size going through these devices, you see the little input there, we can guarantee you plus or minus 5% accuracy on these things for whatever GPM you buy them for, whatever you got them set on. So within the range of minimum pressure required, and that's the thing you need to understand, there's a spring in these things, all of them, whatever brand you buy. There's some minimum differential pressure required across that spring to make it start working. If you don't have that minimum differential pressure to make the spring start moving back and forth, it's not doing anything. It can't. It's just an inert piece of pipe. So you can buy them different ranges. Let's just assume we got the one on the chart here that needs two pounds of differential minimum, about what, 2.31 feet a pound, let's say five feet, two pounds of five feet. We need that much pressure drop across this flow limiter to make it work. If it's less than that, it's not working. If it's more than two pounds, that's okay up to what? Up to 32 pounds of drop. So the one we just looked at, the minimum pressure to make it work is two pounds or five feet. The max is 32 pounds. So anywhere between two pounds and 32 pounds, this device is going to give you a set GPM of what you buy it for, what you set it on if it's a manual adjustable. And it's going to hold that within plus or minus 5%. That's a flow limiter. Some people call it automatic balancing devices. I prefer to call them flow limiters because they only work within that pressure range, which is a good range. But you've got to understand you need that two pounds to make it work. So let's see what would happen if I use one of these automatic balancing devices. Here's one working between the two pounds and, and the 32 pounds. There's another one best at five, I'm not trying to get a specific product. You see that flat red line across the top? It's going to give you the same flow between two pounds and 32 pounds of pressure drop plus or minus 5%. That's what a flow limiter does. And if you keep it in that operating range, you do a pretty good job. Here's one that's got more pressure drop through it than design, and then the spring is totally collapsed, as you see in the picture. It's not doing anything because it can't move anymore. Very unusual to get one at that kind of situation because that's a lot of pressure drop. But just realize if you went beyond the allowable pressure drop, that's what would happen. It would also be singing to you, be pretty noisy. So let's go back to our system for 1,500 GPM, 70 feet ahead. Let's put in automatic balancing devices. Let's put in the automatic flow limiters. Let's just install some. So that's what I've done on the bottom. And what would you buy the flow limiters for? The little blue boxes at the bottom of the edge? You would buy them, or you, if you had a or circuit century type of animal, you would set them for what? 500 GPM. So you set them for 500 GPM. Let's turn the pump on. I turn the pump on, and lo and behold, I've got 500 GPM to each zone. Wow, that's fantastic. All I did was turn the pump on. didn't do anything else. Because they've been purchased for 500, and they won't go beyond 500 as long as you're there. Now, notice something. Notice something. Notice zone 3, which is still the critical circuit. Is at uh, 16 feet of drop. Wow, okay. Uh, through the flow setter with all everything wide open. Th through the flow limit, the flow setter. Zone two is at what, 19 feet, and zone four is at 32 feet. My pump's at 1500 GPM, 70 feet ahead, exactly what you specify. So what's wrong with this? Is this proportioning balance? I got my proportions 500, 500, 500, one third, one third, one third. One -third. I got design flow. 15 or 70 feet. Can I improve this? Is anything wrong with this? And my question to you is, where's your critical circuit? It's on three again. And you got a device at 16 feet. What is a minimum pressure drop across zone three's flow limiter to make it work? To make you give you 500 GPM. And the minimum is two pounds or five feet. Two pounds, five feet. In other words, I got 16 feet of pressure drop across the flow limit on zone three, and I only need what? Only need five to make it work. So I can improve the system dramatically by slowing the pump down and or trim the pump impeller, saving a lot of energy, and I can reduce the 16 feet on zone three down to the minimum I need to make it work properly, which is five, and it, what happens then? Let's just make sure you understand. What can we do to improve the system? There we go. I have dropped the 16 down to 5. 
I've dropped a 70 feet ahead on the big pump down to 59. Now with the circuit setter, it was down to 54. Now what's the difference? The difference is I need that five feet of drop on an automatic flow limiter to make that spring move back and forth. I don't have a spring in the circuit setter. So I need a little more pressure drop here. But once I get that minimum five feet, I don't need any more than that. So proportioning balance can still be done with flow limiters. But what you've got to do is read the pressure drop across the critical circuit again, and you've got to slow the pump down and or trim the pump impeller until you're down to that minimum pressure required to make the flow limiter work on zone three of the critical circuit, which is five feet. Perfect. Well done. Now you know how to put portioning balance. And again, you need a balancing guy on a job with flow limiters to verify these flow limiters to make sure they're working. And again, on the balancing report, they should be able to tell you where is the flow limiter in the critical circuit and what is the pressure drop across that flow limiter in the critical circuit. If they can do that, it's been proportioning balanced. If they can't do that, they don't understand this, you need to fire them. That's pretty strong stuff. But if we're going to save the energy, let's be serious about it. We have to understand fundamentals of laws. We have to recognize a critical circuit. We want that to have the minimum pressure drop required, and that way we make everything more efficient.